everyone here, for everyone who plays your eyes, we're going to ask we we'll be very honored. We have a very honored and special guest tonight. I heard this young man uh, read his essay twice. Mm -hmm. Done a great job on it. And uh, Mr. Uh, Rashawn Jackson, if you come forward and uh, give us the honor of hearing your. Let us not wallow in the valley of despair. I say to you today, my friends, so even though we face the difficulties of today and tomorrow, I still have a dream. It is a dream deeply rooted in the American dream. I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up, live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. I have a dream that one day on the red hills of Georgia, the sons of former slaves and the sons of former slave owners will be able to sit down together at a table of brotherhood. I have a dream that one day, even the state of Mississippi, a state sweltering with the heat of oppression, will be transformed into an oasis of freedom and justice. I have a dream that my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of the skin but by the content of the character. I have a dream today. Okay, come on. <laughs> I have a dream that one day, down in Alabama with this vicious racist, with this governor having his lips dripping with the words of interpos interposition and nullification, one day right there in Alabama, Little black boys and black girls will be able to join hands with little white boys and white girls as sisters and brothers. I have a dream today. I have a dream that one day every valley shall be exalted. Every hill and mountain shall be made low. The rough places will be made plain and the crooked places will be made straight. and the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all flesh shall see it together. This is our hope. This is the faith I go back to the south with. This is the faith we will be able to hew out of the mountain of despair, a stone of hope. With this faith, we will be able to transform the jangling discord of our nation into a beautiful symphony of brotherhood. With this faith, we will be able to work together, to pray together, to struggle together, to go to jail together, to stand up for freedom together, knowing that we will be free one day. This will be the day when all of God's children will be able to sing with new meaning. My country, tis of thee, sweet land of liberty, of thee I sing. Land where my fathers died, land of the pilgrims prime. From every mountainside, let freedom ring. And if America is to be a great nation, this must become true. So let freedom ring from the prodigious hilltops of New Hampshire. Let freedom ring from the mighty mountains of New York. Let freedom ring from the heightening Alleghenies of Pennsylvania. Let freedom ring from the snow-capped Rockies of Colorado. Let freedom ring from the curvaceous slopes of California. But not only that, let freedom ring from the Stone Mountain of Georgia. Let freedom ring from the Lookout Mountain of Tennessee. Mm -hmm. Let freedom ring from every hill and molehill of Mississippi. From every mountainside, let freedom ring. And when this happens, when we allow freedom to ring, when we let it ring from every village and every hamlet, from every state and every city, we will be able to speed up that day when all of God's children, black men and white men, Jews and Gentiles, Protestants and Catholics, will be able to join hands and sing the words of the old Negro spiritual. Free at last, free at last, thank God Almighty we are free at last. <laughs> Oh, he asked me to say something. <laughs>
<laughs> I was serving, I was ready to serve, but I do serve on the MLK uh, parade, and uh, this year selecting this family uh, and this young man to, to be here, and I think he has his mom's back here, yes. and, and I don't know, little brother, the little brother there. And as he continues to do this, it's, it's only going to get uh, better yeah, for right. our city and for our county. And he's been saying this the whole weekend. Yeah. And, uh, and we were there every time that he was able to say that. So thank you, for, uh, Mr. Mayor, for... Uh, the mayor actually attended almost every event uh, that, that we had on the weekend, as well as uh, Ms. Shaw. And uh, new council person that took my position, he also attended almost all of the positions uh, that we had. Marcus Butler. I was say, I have a dream to show the fellow right here, as well as others, just going to go somewhere. Yes. That's right. We need to encourage our yes. young people. I want to yes. thank Ronald right. once again for carrying him out, play, play, and showing encouragement. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. School night, so if y'all want to be excused, you're here. High school night, sir. Yeah. Thank you. 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 Promise you it won't take long. We just got one thing we got to get done before we can actually carry on into our meeting. So if y'all would, do I hear a motion? Make it. I second it. Second session. Y'all need to hang tight right here. We're right. I second it. Back into our meeting. Before we get started, we got one other thing. We had a problem last year. We didn't have our stuff in. I wanted at time. It's time we have to call up Mr. Uh, Griffin Lawson. If you wouldn't come forward. Yes, sir. And I'm glad that he had the same problem that we have, where he knew that it was a legit problem. Yeah. The truth replaced the wife and everything. Screw it. I mean. Uh, <clears throat> Mr. Lobson has uh, served eight, eight years with us, and uh, he's still serving and doing with us. So, but we wanted to first off give me things like tell him to hang on to it. <laughs> when he comes back, we don't we don't have to buy another one. <laughs> you want to read it? Uh, presented to Mayor Pro Tem Griffin Lobson, in appreciation for your service and dedication for the past years. City of Darien, Georgia, January 21st, 2020. 2020. There you go. I'll give a speech. <laughs> <laughs> I do appreciate that working with the city. It has been a dream come true to me. And as the mayor said, I hope to continue to my last day to promote the city of Darien in McIntosh County. And I appreciate all of the good times and the bad times. But I think we've, we accomplished a few things, Mr. Mayor. I think we accomplished a few things. Thank you. get into it I do want to go ahead and talk a little bit I know we can't discuss executive session but the main reason we went into executive session for everybody knows we had to have uh, a city manager it's, it's, it's hard tonight with the loss of our city manager Tim Sweezy Ms. Sweezy <coughs> Tim Sweezy didn't make decisions to gain popularity he told you what it, the way it was and uh, we didn't like it. He told what our options were. As long as they were legal, he can help us work through them. But what come up, 
come out. I like a person like that. I know where to stand. But he he loved the city of Derry. He's told us that many times, plus he's shown that in his actions. Boy, I'm sure that um, Jeff and Car Construction can tell you that, and Chief Howard and uh, our city attorney tell you that he really loved it. He, he worked hard on it. He didn't let anything just slide by. It was done for the betterment of Derry. It's going to be hard. Um, okay. What we did tonight was went ahead and appointed our city attorney, Richie Braun, to uh, sit in with our intern uh, city manager. We checked out everything. Everything is legal. And uh, city attorney, am I correct, at Glen County has done it before? And McIntosh County. And McIntosh has done it before. I'll serve both roles for you, Mayor. Uh, interim city manager and continue city attorney. The reason uh, we had uh, picked him, we also had uh, kind of kicked around and thought about our city clerk. She was able to do the job also, but we got three major projects going on right now. And that's with the wastewater treatment plant, the PD, and our Lucas project. And another thing with Tim Sweezy, he didn't hide stuff. He was transparent. He had our city attorney, myself, and several of them. City, uh, clerk and all of so the city uh, city attorney has been involved with all of it he knows what's going on and it's laid out so we just want to pick it up we just ask everybody to work with us pray with us and please have patience city uh city manager you got anything you want to say no mayor I, I, well it's just a hard place to be sitting right now I mean, that's, you know, lost a good friend and I'll, I'll do the best I can do to right. to follow his job and I'll, I'll, I'll repeat it again Priscilla and I talk talking about this a lot afterwards uh, you know we got the finest city clerks in the state of Georgia uh, we got some of the finest department heads in the state of Georgia I'll be honest with you that um, they make this job easier and hopefully I can make your jobs easier while I'm here yes sir. Um, and it, it's a it's a strange and with a heavy heart that I do We appreciate your dedication and time for it to do that. I was going to put extra on you. But as uh, former Mayor Pro Tem Griffin Austin said before, it's not the first time it's happened to us. Yes, sir. So we learned from the first time, and I think this time is going to be a smoother interchange into it. Thank you, sir. First item on the agenda is roll call. I do want to thank each and every one of you. I want to thank each and every one of you for your time and concern. We've had an opportunity to look the agenda over. Is there any comments, questions on the agenda? Any comments, questions? Do I hear a motion and we accept it as printed? Do I hear a second? I second it. A motion to second. Any more discussion or comments? Any more discussion or comments? All in favor of the aye? Aye. 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 Secured. Thank you. Next item, approval of the minutes from our previous meeting that being December the 16th workshop, December the 17th regular call of meeting. Do I hear a motion? Make it. I have a motion. Do I hear a second? Second. I have a second. Do I have any comments, questions? Any comments, questions? All in favor, aye. 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 Security, thank you. Uh, city manager, uh, my director, no public. No public. Here it is. There. Thank you, sir. Next uh, business presentation, and uh, this is where we do our three minute increments. Uh, first, is uh, we have to come people. forward to the podium, state your name clearly for our city clerk. Doing a great job recording for us. And first one is Mr. Uh, Griffin Lawson, new business, Action Island, Bill Bill Ambassador. Mr. Lawson. Uh, my name is uh, Griffin Lawson. To the mayor and council, and the three minute allotted, I just thought I'd clear up some of the misunderstanding. Uh, a lot of rumors and gossip, the mayor often say, you know, this doesn't listen too much on the internet all the time, but come and get the facts. I think in the beginning it was some misunderstanding with Ambassador and Goodwill Ambassador. I think it was Nikki Haley that some, one of the residents had told me about, they thought it was an ambassador position like the president appointing you travel the world and get paid a half a million dollars. A Goodwill Ambassador is different. It's a volunteer position. Uh, it's something that is given in many cities.
throughout the United States of America. I know at first it was said, well, no one has done that. So of course, those of you know in council, I always do my research. And to name a few, uh, we have Savannah, Georgia, Columbus, Georgia, that have goodwill ambassadors. Matter of fact, the governor of the state of Georgia, when he was Secretary of State, uh, positioned not only with the uh, uh, Kemp when he was the Secretary of State, but the new Secretary of State. They select individuals uh, that have been doing outstanding things in the local community, in the state, and even when they travel uh, internationally, as I have done for the city of Deering. All of this you can look up online yourself. Many of this I've already given to the attorney and to all of the council over the last month or two. Carmen in, in, in Houston, Texas, a basketball player, uh, received the title of a goodwill ambassador. The uh, uh, city government officially made it happen. And I can say much, much, much more uh, concerning that. But the last one, when I was just uh, trying to get some information, I was like, wow, this is very good. Uh, city of Darien, Georgia, McIntosh County. Councilwoman uh, Marcy uh, uh, Goodyear, uh, on our title page, uh, Darien Council on July 2010. I was elected into Darien. Uh, talk about that in Mackinac County Chairman of Commerce Board where she served. Served that role for three years and was re-elected. In 2013, she was voted Volunteer of the Year. Same thing as a Goodwill Ambassador. And she can tell you how much money she gets paid when you're a volunteer. You don't get paid any money at all, but you give from your heart. I had heard that we're going to have a tribute uh, to our manager. What the public did not know is the manager and I, for whatever reason, we would talk long hours into the night, hour and a half, sometimes two hours, 1 a.m. in the morning. And I heard Ms. Marcy was the one that's volunteering again that there's something special and I want to be a part of it uh, on uh, tonight. Basically, Mr. Mayor, I'll do what I've always done for you and the city council. The mayor has always called on me when he had emergencies, and I kid him. I said, well, Mr. Mayor, when I get through talking, I'm going to have you walking on water. So in my closing of the three minutes, I would like to say I would be honored if this city council would give me the opportunity to continue to do what I do, uh, which is promoting the city of Daring in Georgia internationally. You have no idea the kind of money I spent. All of my salary I've made on this city council this year here, I have donated it back as a goodwill ambassador, locally, statewide, and internationally. Thank you. Okay. Any comments or questions? Comments, questions? Okay, okay next, Mr. Mandy Harrison, give us an update on the 2020 Blessing of the Fleet. Did he take some of my time? No, it starts over. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have the rest of my time. <laughs> Thank you very much for letting me come speak this evening. Um, at the city workshop, I turned in the application for the blessing of the fleet. Um, it is a little earlier this year than it was last year. It is March 27th through the 29th. Um, as you know, it's based on the tides, and the best tide for the month of April was Easter. So that didn't quite work out for us. So we had to either go really far or really early. So we've got 65 days left until the festival. Um, the footprint will pretty much remain the same for the festival. Um, we are gonna stay in the same spot. It may change a little bit next year once more of the construction's done, but right now it should be pretty much the same. Um, we do have our first event coming up February 1st, which is the Fisherman's Breakfast, and that is where they will name the Grand Marshal and the theme of the Blessing of the Fleet. Um, after that, we're hitting the ground running. Um, we've got applications online at blessingofthefleet.com. We're encouraging local vendors to please um, apply to be in the Blessing of the Fleet. It is heavily discounted so when you apply you can call us and we'll talk to you about the cost for local um, vendors we do have our parade application the Lions Club is handling the parade this year and we appreciate them for that um, they are online as well the YMCA has the color run 
this year it's going to be a color run, so it's going to be kind of different and fun. Um, we've got our entertainment. Friday night will be our local Bonnie Blue with Will Gore. And Saturday night we will have Lance Stenson, who currently has a song on the radio called The Ultima Hall, and Idle Hands. Um, any information you need, blessingofthefleet.com, the reason for the festival, the fishermen, the Marine Parade will be Sunday, March 29th at 2 p.m. So again, if you have any questions, blessingofthefleet.com or call us at 437-6684. Did y'all have any questions for me? Any comments or questions? Thank you very much for that time. I'll see you up. That works. We do appreciate everything. See, Kathleen? We're there. New Year. This is what we're implementing this year, Kathleen. The city manager, correct? There's no unfinished business? That's correct. I want to thank everybody for your dedication on that. Okay, next one I'll be considered appointment of Jeremy Lawson as the city of Jerry and Goodwill Ambassador. Do I hear a motion? I made that motion. Mr. Yeah, motion. Mayor. Do I hear a second? Second it. I have a second. Any comments or questions? I did a lot of studying on this and a lot of talking on this. There's also something called a brand ambassador. Mm -hmm. and, uh, so. I mean, the only discussion I have, I'm going to say what I said last year. I appreciate what you just said, Mr. Lawson, but we're all elected officials. We are ambassadors of the city. You chose to step down your position as an elected official to run for mayor when you lost. So you're coming to the council and the mayor to ask for a title. I just don't see it. That doesn't seem possible to me. I don't understand it. You can be a volunteer all you want, just like I am. But I don't. I don't see why you need a title for that. And that's my discussion on that. Okay. Uh, see. See. Turn. <laughs> this is something that uh, we can point on an uh, as-needed basis if it don't get fast enough. You could, Mayor. You could always do that. Um, this is again, I, this, since Mr. Lawson's is not asking for any funds or money, no. this is a this is a political point. It's a decision y'all have to each make individually. Okay. Any comments, questions? Yeah, I have one. Um, I do agree, um, Lawson, on him wanting the title. It's not that he wants a title to have a title. I believe that it's just something that will help him. Say he has to go in a foreign country. It'll just help him to move in and out a little bit more smoother. And then, like you said, he's here to help us and to take um, things to us and bring things from us to another place, maybe. So, you know, I don't see, and he's always done it without one. And I think getting one, that's is not gonna hurt anything, anything. Marcy, I understand we all are Goodwill Ambassadors, but I think I've given a person their flowers why they can see them and uh, we were at the service on the other night um, on Sunday and one of the uh, ladies spoke about how Griffin kind of like helped get affordable houses and things and you know for the youth and stuff like that. Everyone does it. I know I'm not from here. I just come here 14 years ago. So I know before me there was a lot of things going on and people that were in place and position help get things um, you know, up and going. So I understand that. But I'm here to speak about what I see now. And I see this person and I see what he does and I continue to support what he does. Long as I like the I told him for if we get him in, he doesn't do the things, we can just get him out. But yeah, I believe he's gonna yeah, do exactly I mean I'm saying when we gonna accept the um grand you know goodwill ambassador. So my thing is that as long as he's doing the work and he loves what he does, I don't have a problem with it. To me, it's like giving out participation trophies. I mean, everybody's so. entitled. You're welcome. I mean, like you gave up a position as an elected official and that you still want a title. It doesn't make any sense to me. I, that's just my personal opinion. Okay. Uh, I, I just want to say, and I'll be real brief, there, uh, there's a lot of people in this community, in this city, that truly, truly love this city, and and they show it. Uh, Mr. Lawson is an example of that. He is he is a native. His family, um, and, and I know this is not about his family, about him um, being raised here, but it is about the love for what he has, not not just for the city. For this office, and that's why I made that motion. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. 
Thank you. Any comments, questions? Thank you. Comments, questions? Okay, let's do a roll call. Uh, Councilman Skeen. Yes. Councilman Butler. Um, I'm new at this. Yes, sir. And, well, I mean, this is my first meeting, and this is on the, a red topic, and it's something new for the county, city. Yes, sir. And in the last two weeks, I mean, totally honest, I had prominent people came to me and you know everybody wants change and something but they were the voters who put me in office and I took a oath to serve and you know protect them and try to get their problems solved and whatever and they said they're not ready for us. Okay. Like I said, I'm new at it and, you know, I want to do what's right on the outside of the law. And in my heart, it's been laying in the heart, you know, not to pull for it. So yours is next? Yes. Okay. One, one, one yes, one no. Uh, Councilor Shop? Yes. Councilor Gibson? No. Okay, it's two to two. I'm going to go along with uh, uh, Councilman Butler. I've had some people really really get upset and talk about this this child or not and that's why i asked we can if if we need it we can do it on a one-on-one on basis so uh i'm gonna vote no and if we in time comes we need one it'll be the first one we we pick two you want to read that uh to us somebody yes yeah two yeses two no's and your no Thank you. Appreciate it. We Thank do appreciate you. all your time and your service. Thank you. Thank you, sir. That was a hard one. But he does do a great job. Uh, but, but a lot of people are doing Everybody wanted the title. We, we just couldn't do it. Okay, acceptance of the bid to construct a new municipal law enforcement building. Do I hear a motion that we motion. Uh, accept the bid to construct the new municipal law enforcement building? Yes. I'm now, sure. before we make this motion, we are talking eight hundred thousand dollars. That's correct. Eight hundred thousand dollars. It ain't gonna come back tomorrow, and I need another <laughs> ten or fifteen. So, what we approve tonight is eight hundred. Yes. 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 I know we can do legal stuff and yes, make sir. amendments and all, but and, okay. Uh, Mayor, don't 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 forget that um, this also includes the we have an existing debt with Southeastern Bank. Yep. We will refinance that debt into a purchase of the property other than the current lease arrangement we have. So we'll actually be owning the property under the building. Uh, and if you remember uh, how this will operate because of Georgia's laws, this will actually flow through GNA's bricks and mortars program, which is a fantastic program to help cities like us borrow from municipal buildings. Want to just give them a little credit because uh, they do a fantastic job on that bricks and mortar program. But that's right. And I is to let the contract for the construction of the building at that price. Okay. Do I a motion that we uh, consider uh, that we accept this of the bid? Marcy, Marcy made a motion. I hear a second. I second. Okay. Any comments or questions? I just want to make one brief comment. Um, the. Uh, the, uh, the Tuesday before um, city manager went to the hospital. Um, Chief and I met with him about something else, personnel issue, and we were sitting in his office. Um, and I know the chief remembers as well as I do because we've talked about it since, but the city manager looked at us and said, y'all make sure this building gets done. Mm -hmm. Those are his exact words. Um, so just before y'all vote on that tonight, uh, he and the chief has spent a of hours and a lot of hard work on getting this contract through and Jeff's work as well and the contractor contract work real hard on this as well uh, 
and that was hours, that was literally hours before this happened. Uh, he looked at right at me and the chief and said that. Um, why? I don't know why he did it at the time, but he did. Um, to appreciate everything. And uh, Kathleen's done a good, real good job covering everything and putting it out so each and every one of y'all would know. That's one thing about Tim, he was a numbers guy. He was transparent we we'll don't expect the same thing. Okay, any more comments or questions? Council Lady Shaw, how you vote? Okay. Council Goodyear? Yes, I'm for it. Yes. Council Butler? For it. Council Scheme? Yes. I'll vote for it also myself. I do appreciate it. We sure look forward to it. Um, oh, another good thing about it is I'm gonna put him on the spot. <laughs> Roughly what we look at that timeline before you can hand the keys over, we got a police department. Six months from the time you give me the contract. So All right. <laughs> Appreciate that. Right. And remember, with Mayor, we do have to go through. So oh yeah, there's yeah. some hoops for the yeah, yeah for the uh, for GMA program. So that'll take a little while. But, so uh, we'll be I'm this year. In the bank already. For that, they're already on the move as well. Okay. We do appreciate it, appreciate it, Jeff, all your hard work, dedication, and all of the stuff that you're doing with it. Okay, the next one is uh, consider approval setback from for 305 Clark Street. And uh, Mr. Chairman Bowen, you want to give us an update on that? The uh, Planning and Zoning met last week, and they recommended approval to the City Council for, the, uh, for this variance. Uh, what it essentially is, is uh, if you remember the last three variances have all been in the same neighborhood and mostly with all the same problems with corner setbacks. Um, and uh, this one bring, would bring the house of 305 on line with the house of 307. Uh, what they're asking for is a four foot variance to move the forward with a porch. Uh, and. Uh, as I said, planning and zoning looked at it, and they recommend that the city council approve that uh, that variance. Is that going to cause any kind of obstruction or hardship on the street or no, the traffic? No, the there's no uh, there's no interference with any utilities or anything. It's not going to put a mailbox too close to the roof. <laughs> okay, no, we can. <laughs> that we can get, we can get with the federal that. government and have them move the mailbox. Is that what I'm being called by the mailboxes? <laughs> Again. Do I hear a motion that we consider approval? I made that motion, Mr. Mayor. I, I motion second. I hear a second. You second? I second it. Any comments or discussion? Any more comments or discussion? All in favor, aye. 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 Curious, thank you. Next item, and uh, see, man, did you do the enlighten us a little bit on this? Define benefit retirement plan via statement, resolution 2020. Uh, storage municipal employees benefit system has recently received a favorable determination letter from the Internal Revenue Service. Each employer using the Georgia Municipal Employees Benefit System plan is required to adopt the restated adoption agreement as part of the reinstatement process. Is this anything new that we're doing in terms of cost us anymore? Yes, sir. There, there's been no substantive changes. This is a housekeeping matter that the GMA asked us to do for the retirement plan for the employees. Uh, this is merely adopting the new agreement that receives favorable rules from the IRS. Okay. They, they, every, every so often they have to uh, resubmit their plan to determine whether or not it's in compliance with federal law and they got approval that it was. And now they just need a roll call on the number of cities and organizations. Is there anything we need to vote on? Or? Yes, sir. We need to adopt that resolution. So we'll we'll from the to to Taking action. Okay. Do I hear a motion that we uh, set this as action for retirement plan reinstatement? I think Barbara made it. Did you make a motion? No, I just said action. Do I hear a motion? I make a motion. A motion. I hear a second. Second. I have a second. Any more discussion or comments? Any more discussions, comments? All in favor, aye. Aye. Aye's carried. Thank you. Next item, consider appointment of Mayor Pro Tem. Well, Mr. Mayor, our, our charters and ordinances uh, specify that the most senior member of the council is designated uh, Mayor Pro Tem, and that would be Council Lady Shaw. In the past, she has declined that. 
Uh, but that's her decision up there whether she wants to accept it or decline it. You want to accept it? Accept. Okay. We're going to be here to sing uh, one up there. And I was Griffin over there and leave it here. Everybody sing here. Okay. Okay. Congratulations. 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 We don't need to vote on that. That's just straight point. Okay, that's the ordinances and charter. It's already in that bed. We do appreciate that. We just need to get everything made. Thank you. We could have barred. <laughs> Next item is consider done the motion of the Darren News of the Legal Oregon for the City of Darren, County Year 2020. Uh, do I hear a motion? I make the motion. Do I hear a second? Second. Any comments or discussion? Any comments or discussion? All in favor, aye. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Right. Council report. Let's try to keep them three minutes. Councilman Skeen, you want to start us off? Um, I, you know, I tell you what, I'm, uh, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to uh, wave my time, Mr. Mayor. See if you catch them off guard. Give you a chance to do that. Council Good here. I have a report. Councilman Butler. Um, you got time to get a little bit. Well, well, I just want to um, thank everybody for coming to the meeting today and thank everybody for standing behind me and getting me elected. And I really want everybody to stand behind me to make the right decisions whether it's with the council or against the council and most of all I want to thank God you know for life health and strength turn it back in hand in a minute thank you sir council lady uh, mayor pro team shop <laughs> uh, once again I do thank um, the council for the opportunity to become madam <laughs> pro team mm -hmm. and I'll do my best like I told you before when I got on the council board I think it was Grobner who came and asked me, will I consider it? And I said, well, I don't know nothing about <laughs> politics, and I'm not a politician, but I'm an elect I'll be an elected official with a servant heart. So, and that's what I have been doing, because I love to serve and help. So once again, thank you. And I know we have a lot of decisions that we have to make tonight um, concerning different things, but it was a decision, and that's what we do. Come up with the best. So. Um, just want to say that, and um, thanks to everyone. And also welcome aboard our new okay. elected official, Mr. Butler, and our new city manager, Mr. Richie Bond. And we're going to do what we're going to do as a team, and we're going to get the job done, because truly, Mr. Tim will be missed yes. by all of us. And it's so, so awkward, I know Mr. Skeen, he's filming it because he sits right next to him all the time. So it's like the presence of him is just, you know, it's there, but it's not there. But we're going to get through it, and we're going to cry together, laugh together, and remember together. So um, um, that's my new point, um, Mr. Mayor. Thank you very much. Okay. I'm going to start off by welcoming our new member. Look forward to serving with you. I want to thank each and every one of y'all. Thank y'all for putting me back in office again. Thank you for your support and everything. And uh, I ask you to uh, send all your comments, City Hall, but please put your name on it where I can know who to refer back to. Uh, comments, questions, problems, whatever. Just drop them off with my name on it. They'll put it in my box. I want to thank uh, the MLK committee. Everything was great. Everything was great. And uh, one of the one of the, the finest uh, Sermons and uh, speeches I've heard was uh, was done Sunday, yes. and uh, Dr. Uh, Roger Lawson, yes, great county commissioner, done a great job. Yes. I, I want to just thank everybody. Pray everything was real good. I just it kind of sat in my heart that it wasn't attended yes. enough of, as it should be. We should all be in those buildings and showing it and everything. So uh, I won't go into it. But uh, my heart's still bleeding for our, our friends, Sweezy. Let's keep, keep that family in our prayers. And uh, 
I'm going to put him on the spot tonight. There's another man that has really stood out, and that's Chief Howard. Chief Howard's done a great job. I've heard people are talking on the street. Some of you probably have said it, but I've heard people talking on the street that uh, he just lets his, his fellow do what they want to do. It's not true. I heard the comments on the street, and I wasn't going to say nothing about it, but I think they'd be brought out in public. We know a patrol car got burnt, destroyed. It was told being who it was, the officer, nothing probably done about it. He done a full investigation on it. Still a fool. Still, and he, he got an outside investigator. You know what I mean? And so uh, there was legal actions and all taken on it. And I do want to, I know it's hard on him doing that, but uh, I do want to thank him. I want to thank the, uh, the Jeff and the uh, Robinson engineer. They're doing a great job helping us with our projects. Uh, carpet from uh, construction coming in and willing to do it and help us out. But I mainly want to thank my right hand man, Mr. Richard Brown, for stepping forward because he's got a lot on his shoulders. He got big shoes to fill. And I just ask you, please uh, hold off calling him on stuff right now and let him get things worked out. Let us get uh, rolling good and then we'll, we'll do it, another thing. Also, we have a uh, memorial for Kim Sweets is Saturday. At 10 o'clock at the uh, Karen, you want to make sure I get it right at the Catholic at, Church at 10 o'clock. Catholic Church is at the ROA 1000 Highway 17. Corner 5 and 9 on 17. 10 o'clock. That's 10 o'clock Saturday morning. We appreciate everybody. Uh, that's Karen's memorial for 10 also at the uh, the wine bar is going to have a little a uh, little toast uh, they're waiting on the mayor and council and all to get there so right after this uh, we're going to have a little toast and uh, if you don't drink alcohol drink water and uh, we just everyone meet and say hey and uh, give a little toast to Tim Sweet anybody have anything else see attorney city manager you got two reports Dave, yeah, I'll, I'll combine them into one there. Uh, just really briefly. Um, you, you're right, I got the issues until I'm going to do my absolute best to fill those. Con congratulations to, to you, Councilman Butler, Councilman Skeen, on getting reelected and sworn in. Councilman Butler, I've told you before, be careful what you ask for, you just might get it. <laughs> uh, you had a tough first meeting tonight, my friend. Right. Uh, probably the most unusual meeting a newly elected official's ever had. Mm -hmm. uh, and your reputation precedes you. I've heard good things about you and you're doing a good job. Thanks. Uh, under tough circumstances. And you guys, for some reason, the men run together and the ladies run together. <laughs> uh, different years. But, yeah. And can, congratulations to you, Mayor Pro Tem Shaw. Thank you. Uh, I'm sure Ms. Priscilla will get you a new name tag order. Yeah. Uh, again, best city clerk in the state of Georgia. Yes, she is. Yes. Absolutely. Thank you for working here. I'm glad to see some of my partner heads here tonight. Uh, here at and our code enforcement building inspector. You anything to say? No, I just would like to see everybody there Saturday morning. And uh, our, our DDA director, and Stacey, you anything you want? Chief Howell, Thank you guys. Thank you, uh, Jeff, for your hard work. Thank you, Andy. Yes, sir. Uh, on the 7th, it was the last time I uh, met, well, had a conversation with Tim was right here. So this month, and, uh, it's like Richard said, but I stood up, he looked at us and said, I want this on the agenda on the 21st. And I said, well, you need a man to do it. And we chuckled a little bit, and he looked at me and said, no, seriously. He said, I want these guys. And he said, uh, Jeff, see if you can get them to knock that price. That's <laughs> <laughs> him. He ain't never satisfied. He said, I believe he's the only person I ever knew can make a penny swoop. Uh, I'll miss him. And, you know, every Monday morning, I always knew at 8 o'clock I got my phone call. And the last two Mondays have been kind of odd. So I'll deeply miss him. But thank you guys for everything. Thank you, Chief. We finished up three minutes early. I'm going to step out of line.